Well, about a week ago, Sherry Ann Martin was took down sick with a fever, and Nancy had to go down and take care on her, she being a widow woman, and I had to stay home and keep house while Cindy Lawson come over to go down to Sherry's house with Nancy and left her boy with me to take care of. And Nancy said, now, Joshua, the bread is soft to rise and the churning's all ready to do. Uh, don't let the salt soak boil over. Uh, keep your eye on that fire in the smokehouse. I think the speckled hen will hatch today and you take care of the chickens and I wouldn't wonder if the bees didn't swarm. And don't you let Cindy's boy fall in the well or nothing. <laughs> Gosh, I had a few things to do besides taking care of Cindy's boy. And that boy could ask more fool questions. He said to me, Uncle Joyce, where does the wind come from? I told him, some of it come from Ohio, but most of it come from Nebraska. He said, Uncle Joyce, What's Nebraska? I said, Nebraska is a state. He said, well, what's a state? <laughs> well, I took off my coat and vest, and I put on one of Nancy's aprons, and I hadn't took more than a dozen steps when I tripped over that darned apron, fell down, my head hit the stove, and made my nose bleed, knocked the stove pipe down, and the soot went all over the bread. While, while I was straightening things out, that boy said to me, Uncle Joyce, does the Lord know everything? I told him I calculated as how the Lord did. He said, well, then the Lord knows I'm hungry, don't he? <laughs> well, I gave him some bread and butter and put apple sass on it, and then I went to doing the churning, and I churned quite a spell when I looked into the churn see if the butter was coming, and my spectacles fell off, and the churn dasher broke them, and while I was trying to fish him out, my plug of tobacco fell in the churn. <laughs> Spiled all the cream. Well, I wouldn't have cared, but I didn't have any more tobacco in the house right handy. And just then that boy said to me, Uncle Joyce, it's got a bug in it. And I looked around and darned if he didn't have my watch open and was poking in it with a hairpin. And just then the soft soap boiled over. And while I was trying to sod it off the stove, it up sock and run all over the kitchen floor. And some of it run through a hole in my boot, and I had to go out and stick my foot in the rainwater barrel. <laughs> Just then I heard that boy yelling, I went in, and darn if he didn't have his finger caught in the mouse trap. Well, I got it out and tied a rag around it. He said, Uncle Joyce, it's a leaking, ain't it? Well, just then I heard the awfulest noise out in the hen house, and I went out there, and that speckled hen had hatched a lot of little chickens, and the cat was trying to get him, and I started to chase that cat, and the clothesline caught me under the chin, and I turned about four somersets and sucked down in the flower bed. <laughs> Just then I heard that boy say, a bee bit me, and I looked around, darn if them bees hadn't swarmed, and while I was trying to hide them, they got all over me, and while I was trying to fight him off, that smokehouse caught fire, and that boy fell in the wash tub, and the fire department turned out, and when I come to, Cindy Lawson was giving me thunder because I abused her boy, and Nancy said, a woman can't leave home a minute. Men are such helpless critters. <laughs>